on August the 25th, 2021, I received this message. So I went through a journey of finding a web hosting service that could meet my need. So I had a set of conditions that I needed to make sure I in place before I chose the web hosting service. So first of all, the company had to have an interface that makes it very easy for me to set up my website on their hosting services. Secondly, the performance had to be very good and I wanted to make sure that I was able to scale the performance whenever I needed it. Thirdly, the interface had to be very, very easy to use because I didn't like spending time uh, searching around the interface to find how to uh, do certain things. Fourthly, support. Now this one here was very, very important for me because I needed to make sure that whenever I needed support, the support was there for me. And finally, backups. Backups are super powerful because without a proper backup system, it's going to be very difficult for you to run a proper business. So I came across Cloudways. Let's take a look and see how Cloudways performs. But before we go into finding the right server, let's explain a few things first, because I feel this is very important. So majority of web hosting companies out there, the SiteGrounds, the GoDaddy, Bluehost, DreamHost, InMotion, uh, WP Engine, and quite a lot more out there work on a system called Shared Server. So the problem with the Shared Service is if one website on this stack starts getting a lot of uh, traffic, it affects everybody else. So this is what was happening on my website. So I'm sure you've heard of uh, Amazon, uh, AWS, they host uh, Netflix and all these great companies and they also do email. So these are the cloud storage services we are talking about here. So how Cloudways works is they work as the middleman between your website and the cloud storage services. So they provide you with an interface which makes it very easy for you to uh, set everything up and manage your websites. So there are quite a few here. There's uh, DigitalOcean, AWS, uh, Google Cloud, and Linode. So really pretty much they're all the same, but it's just the setup that's different. All right, so the first test here is to see how easy it is to get set up on Cloudways. So let's take a look now. So over here, I'm on cloudways.com. Currently they have a 40% off for four months. So you may want to take advantage of that. Uh, so I also have a link in the video description below, which you can use to sign up for this. All right, so here, if you want to get started up from scratch, you just want to come over here to start free. Okay, so uh, setting it up is quite straightforward. You enter your name, your email, uh, your email address, your surname. Uh, you just, uh, set here what best describes you. So if you're a blogger, you can just add it there. Um, I need to improve. You can just uh, maybe add whatever it is you want to improve here. And then your monthly spending. So I'll just put uh, 0 to 50 here. And um, once you agree with the Cloudways, uh, terms of service, you can just click on that and then click on start for free. All right, so I'm going to enter my email address here and click on start free. Okay, it looks like we are logged in. So the interface now, the interface looks pretty straightforward. So I like the fact that when I first set it up here, uh, this uh, will install WordPress for me. And then I can name the application here. So I could just give this the name of my website. So let's say it's uh, Mac training. I can also name my server here. So I'm just going to call this Mac. All right. So we have uh, different options to go with here. And this is one thing that I like because with uh, shared hosting, all you have is just one plan and that's it. But here I can choose how much RAM I need. I can choose pretty much any service that I want. So over here we have uh, these services. So you can choose DigitalOcean, Linode or Voucher. So I'm going to come over here to Voucher. As soon as you start making these adjustments, the price here is going to go up accordingly. So if you're starting off, maybe you want to start off with uh, two gigs and this is going to be $23 per month. So the prices here are different based on uh, the setup. So it doesn't necessarily mean that this one is better than the other or whatever it is. I've seen some videos that compare the different uh, setups and tell you why they choose this one over this one. But you know what? These are all cloud hosting services. Okay, so as you can see here, pretty much they all have a similar thing here. So when I increase the memory, then you can see now that it is rising. So you may be asking yourself, well, why do I need to do this? So if you have a website and um, maybe it's an e-commerce website or it's an online training uh, course website, the more you get uh, customers or the more you get students, your website is going to require more resources. So this is where you need to uh, increase your resources accordingly. And I like the fact that I don't have to contact anyone. I can just go to my dashboard, go in and then set up my the amount of memory that I need. So as you can see here, let's say you start off with, uh, say, two gigs of uh, memory. You can then increase it as 
uh, time goes on. And then obviously here you can see our price is also showing. Next, you want to show your, I mean, you want to uh, add your location. So in my case, uh, I'm in uh, England, so I'm going to add London. So, okay, let's put it at two gig. All right, so I think everything is all set up here. So once you're done with that, oh, in fact, you know what? We need to uh, confirm our email first. Okay, this is very important. We need to confirm this first. So here's my email. I'm just going to say activate account. Okay, so when I come over here on my account, this is the information. Uh, I can add my credit card here. So at the moment, I haven't added my credit card. So let's see now what happens when I come to the servers. So now if I say launch now, I am now back to my uh, screen here. So I am going to launch my website. So if I click here on launch now, let's see how easy it is to set up our WordPress website. Okay, so I can see here that uh, it is adding the server. So they give these names uh, which are maybe quite confusing. So when it says adding server or adding application, that's just your WordPress install, okay? So here it's telling me it's gonna take about seven minutes. That's okay, we'll wait for that. All right, so it looks like our website has been installed. So when you take a look here, we can see that it's two gig and it's also based in London, which is brilliant. Now, what I'm going to do next is just to navigate around and see uh, all the features that our website come with and how we can access them. Okay, so to take a look at uh, your website information, you want to click here on this www, okay? Click on your application. And now it's telling me all the details. So here I can see that this is the URL where my website was installed, which is brilliant. And I also have my admin panel here, username and password. And I also have my database details. So let's just quickly test and see how this website looks like. So I'm going to open this in a new tab, which is right here. And we can see here that this is our default WordPress install. Let's take a look and see how easy it is to log in. So I'm just going to add wp-admin here. And this is where I can enter my email address and password. So I'm going to enter my email address. And for the password, I'm going to come back over here and copy it. So I'm going to click here to copy. Okay, now it's copied. I'm going to paste it here like that. And now I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. This is fantastic. So I really love how easy, how easy it is to uh, install WordPress because when I first uh, took a look at Cloudways, it just seems like it's going to be quite difficult to set everything up because it's different to how we normally use uh, WordPress on our um, shared hosting services like SiteGround and so on. Okay, now next, I want to take a look here at monitoring. So what do we have here on monitoring? And I can see here that we have analytics. So I can take a look at my traffic, which is brilliant. Okay, so this is very useful. I can see my bot traffic here. I can see my URL requests and so on. There's also MySQL. Uh, disk usage. I think this is a good one because sometimes you want to see how much space your website is uh, taking. So this is brilliant. So I think some of these features here will show up when you upgrade uh, the account. Next, I want to take a look at bot protection. So this is to do with security because sometimes your website may be bombarded by a lot of um, IP addresses trying to bring down your website. So this is the bot protection. And I'm glad that this is also there as a service. Here we have domain management. So let's say you have a website that is hosted uh, somewhere else. This is where you would set it all up. In fact, I'll show you in a moment how to do that. Okay, next we have Chrome management, SSL certificate. This is brilliant if you want to set up a website where you can sell. So when, they, when people enter their credit card details, everything will be all encrypted. So this service is there. Fantastic. I love that. And this is a big one. Backup and restore. Okay, so you want to make sure that your website is backed up on a regular basis because sometimes things may go wrong with your website and it's always a great idea that you um, restore your backup and everything gets up and running super fast. So uh, right now I can go and take a backup right now and pretty much will be good to go. Okay, uh, this is more of uh, developers. So this is uh, Git. Okay, now we have application settings. So application settings, this is to do now with um, our website. So we can see here our email sender. We can reset our folder permissions and so on. So we still have full access to everything, which is what I like. We also have migration tools here. So let's say you want to migrate your website this is where you would come and download the plugin. And we also have a CDN here. This also helps with speed. So this will help you make your website faster. So I think so far, taking a look at this, it is uh, full of features. And I love the fact that we have all these things right there for us. So we can manage this 
ourselves. And all this stuff that I've gone through so far is not complicated at all. So what I'm going to do now is to log into my current Cloudways account. So over here, this is where uh, we have funnels to income. This is where my main website is running now. So if I click here on these uh, www's, you can see that we have quite a few websites over here. So I want to go to funnels to income so we can see what is happening over there. So let's say I want to check, say, my analytics. I can just come over here, look at the traffic. And this will give me an idea of what has been happening on my site. So now I'm here on my server management. And when I come to server management, uh, when I click on manage services, now I can see how things are running. So it tells me here that my uh, uh, Apache is working and my SQL is working. I can restart all these uh, just in case something may be going uh, on with my website. I can also come over here to backups. And these are the backups of my actual server. So I can take a backup right now and so on. So here we can uh, en uh, enable local backups as well. And these are happening on a daily basis, which is fantastic. So this part I'm going to talk about here is very important. This is the monitoring. So this will give me an idea of how much RAM is being used on my server. So at the moment it's 3.21 out of uh, 7.8. Fantastic. If you take a look at the CPU usage, it's only 1%. So that shows me that my website is running in a very optimal uh, level. And then, over, uh, and then over here, we have the disk usage. And again, I'm well within my limits. So let's say at some point I realize that, you know what? There is so much more RAM being used here. This is where now I can go in and upgrade this and increase the RAM and pay a bit more money. So I love the fact that everything is here on this screen and I can manage everything myself. And this is why this manage hosting account here is super powerful. And that is why I love Cloudways managed hosting. So let's take a look here and see if uh, Cloudways have ticked all the boxes. But before I do that, let me show you how easy it is to move your website from one hosting company to Cloudways. So I have my website here called Web Design with Mac. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the dashboard and download the plugin that we're going to need to migrate my site. So I'm going to come all the way down here to plugins and then click on add new. I'm going to search for Cloudways. So here we go. This is the plugin. It's absolutely free. I'm going to click on install now. Activate it. So now I've just clicked on installed plugins and then I can go to my settings here of my Cloudways uh, migration. All right. So here it's asking for my email address. So I'm going to enter my email address. Next, I'm just going to say I agree. Click on migrate. So now I need to enter the site destination URL. So this is where I would add my URL of uh, my website, which in this case is this one right here. So I'd go in, enter it here. And then next I'll enter my server address, database name, SFTP username and password. And once that's done, if you hit migrate, all this is going to be now moved over to your website because all these, all these credentials match the ones on our server. Now, right now I'm logged into my main website. I am going to be doing even more videos to show you how easy it is to do this. When I migrated my website from uh, WP Engine to Cloudways, it only took about an hour because this was a slightly bigger website. But for a small website, this is super, super fast. It's super, super easy. And I really like the fact that we can just do this in a very, very easy and straightforward way. Next, let me show you how easy it is to point your domain name to Cloudways. So what you need to do to point your domain name is to go to your domain registrar. So there are several companies uh, that you can use to register your domain names. Now, I use hover.com. So in this case, let's say it's Mac Training that I need to uh, point. I'll just come over here to mactraining.co.uk and then you wanna go to DNS. So this is where now you wanna make sure that this IP addresses, IP addresses are changed. So where do we get our IP addresses? Well, you need to come over here to Cloudways and go into your server. So this is the actual server. So we wanna point our IP address to this server. So I can just copy this IP address here and add it on or I can just come over here to my service and get it from here. So I can just click here, click here to copy. Okay, now it's copied. Now over here in your control panel, these are the details that you need to change. So if I click here on edit and I change the IP address like that, save changes, click on the other one, change my IP address, save changes. So you know right now, uh, we have uh, this URL here, which is a bunch, okay? So we want now this to say mactraining.co.uk. 
which is this domain name here. So all we do is just change the IP addresses here. And uh, within, say, a couple of hours, depending on how fast the DNS servers are, if you refresh this, this will now show mactraining.co.uk. So it's as easy as that. But like I said, it just takes a bit of time. But once that's done, I mean, this is going to be very, very easy to, uh, to check if it, this has propagated. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to go in and uh, migrate our website, point our domain name to our hosting service because Cloudways does not provide the domain registration service, which I think is very good because... So let's say at some point you decide you want to use a different service to Cloudways. So you can always just move to the new hosting account and then use their IP address, go into control panel for your domain registrar and add your email address in there. So as you can see, it's very, very straightforward and much easier to manage things this way. So now let's check and see if Cloudways Cloudways has ticked all the boxes. So over here, when it comes to setup, I'm pretty sure you can agree with me that setting up everything was quite straightforward. So yes, it gets a check mark over there. Performance, performance is brilliant because we can always go in and adjust how much memory we need. So we can just do this based on our server requirements. Again, this gets a check mark. The interface itself very straightforward. Uh, there isn't a lot to really learn. I mean, everything is intuitive. It's very easy to follow. So again, for the interface, it gets a check mark. Support. I know I couldn't show you the support, but the support is great. So that gets also a check mark. Backups. Fantastic. So overall, in my opinion, this is the setup you want to have when you are running a website that requires a much better performance and if your website demands a lot more resources. Because if you try to use the shared hosting, you're going to have a lot of problems because shared hosting does not really scale as much as we can here with our cloud hosting. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments box below and I'll be sure to respond to them. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.